Yo guys, Sunday morning. Welcome to a new weed log. Now we go to CrossFit at the Esvik. CrossFit, yeah, but I'm not going alone this time. I am going Tomorrow. with my belly mods. Hello, how are you doing? Good morning, my friend. <laughs> Come inside, please. We are done. Modster is doing some special exercises. Mm. All this old isolation, I'm gonna lift up here now, all the way down to that end of the building on top of the roof. This is not nice. I'm wearing this color now. Hey, Klaus! It's quite the loop, eller? Frikke, you coming for a run? Huh? You're coming for a run? Nice. Yes. Hello, boys! Shit, shit breaks soon. Yeah, let Tommy and me. <laughs> Look at this place! Eh? Beautiful! Oh. It's coming stormy weather! Bro. It's coming stormy weather! We are done! This was uh, hard to me! Yeah, this is like a week. You look a little bit fat, no? <laughs> hard one! <laughs> a little bit heartbroken here now! Just sold my old trailer! It's uh, leaving now actually in a few seconds! That was a good trailer. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Sad to see it go. Ciao trailer. Gonna miss you buddy. But I'm sure you're gonna have a nice time with the new owner. Sunday morning. Hello Tommy. Hello. Just done the CrossFit here at Gesley CrossFit. How was it Tommy? Uh, it was Hard. <laughs> really hard. <laughs> After a hard crossfit, we drove to this place, parked here. We're gonna jump into the wa water here. We are just done with the run. We both are just lying down here. It's Wednesday morning and we start at 8 o'clock and we run 20 kilometers something. Here in Norway, is it a lot of taxes on cars. Bigger engine, more taxes. So, I bought this Norwegian car there, total crashed one, BMW 3 Series X Drive. These have a front damage, but the engine and gearbox is okay, but the chassis is too bent to repair it. So, then we have a rule, we can search here in Norway for doing a body change. This is what I did here. This is a German car I bought on the way home from the last race. I searched body change on that car, with outside crash wound. Then the right people is coming here, they're putting plumps on engine, gearbox and rear suspension. The rear suspension I always moved over from the Norwegian car into this German one. The German rear suspension is lying there. This is the two engine. This one, the closest one, is from the Norwegian car. The other one is from the German car and the gearbox. So now I'm going to put this engine and gearbox from the Norwegian car into that one. Go to the place and they're going to look at the plums and see everything is correct. Then I don't have to pay taxes on the car I brought from Germany. It's like moving the taxes from the crashed cars over there over to this one. So here you can see the guys have been here and put a plumb there on the engine and gearbox and it's the same one on the rear suspension. So when I go to the guys now order at hour, go there and when the car is done and they see I moved everything, the right parts over, this will get a new chassis number and it's good to go. Yeah, so this is a little bit complicated but it's, this rule is made because it's so much taxes on cars in Norway. Um, so if you buy a new Black Sea Ferrari and you pay so much taxes, and you crash after some weeks, then you have the chance to buy a new car in Germany or whatever, outside Norway, it's not expensive, bring it here, Bring you have to bring three or four main components, that's engine, gearbox, front or rear suspension. So if two of them is crashed, then you can't do it. So in my, ca my case here, the BMW was front suspension was broken, but engine and gearbox and rear suspension was good, so that's why I searched to bring those three parts over to this one. What did you just say, Ose? I'm helt färdig. <laughs> helt färdig, that means totally done. <laughs> so then we had 14, 14 km run and we both are totally done. Mm. It was a bad day. Helt, helt färdig. <laughs> right now I'm in Leeds, shopping in Sweden. That's Per, my engineer. We are out on the roller skis. So Per, <laughs> when we was running in uh, Australia, I was pretty much better than you. But today I think we was on your home track. Home track maybe, but you were strong. Uphill, hard slope. 
Yeah, then I then I beat you, but before you beat me a few times. I learned you all my tricks. Yeah, you, you <laughs> actually it's not a joke. <laughs> I was behind all the way. A pair told me do this and this and this, and then I was flying away. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Norway versus Sweden, as always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm in Sweden, a little bit further down where my engineers live, and the reason why is this one. Look at this. I got myself a go-kart to do some practice, to drive a little bit more than what I do only in the racing car, you know? This is gonna be awesome. And where I was here now is in the Gislaved, that's where uh, Joakim Ward is, in Ward Racing. That's where I got this go-kart. I come in a workshop with my new go-kart from Joakim Ward, I'm, I'm so excited about it. That's gonna be so great to go practice with this one time a week and be super fit for the last race at Monza. But now, before I left, I managed to put this car together and make it, made it ready to start it. I didn't try it, and that's because I'm a little bit nervous about it, like this nervous, because the engine and gearbox in that car is coming from this one, and have not, yeah, this car crashed around three and a half years ago. So the engine and gearbox have not been started for three and a half years, and I put it in there, and now you're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna try now. It's lightning inside here after I put the battery on, that's good. Already a mistake there. Okay baby, show me the magic. Yes! It's running! So easy! But all these messages is coming because we have, or I have been taking out all the brains of this car from that one, put into this one. So I have to go to BMW now and zero everything, I guess, and program some of the brains together with other ones. So this is not a problem. It's running actually really nice. I actually found a problem. I don't get this shit into gears. Come on. No, it will not. That's a problem, actually. <laughs> yeah, the gate is uh, getting open. I'm going into this uh, Voskal. I'm going to clean my new go-kart. Today, it's a cleaning day. I just made this hole here now. This is on the top of my workshop. Some stuff I already thrown out there, but it's still a lot left. Look around there. This is the second half of the top of the workshop I didn't clean up, you know, because the other half down there is done. But look at all this. All this I'm gonna clean up here now. It's really a lot. And this place is actually gonna be my office. The plan is to make glass on this wall with a door so I can get air inside have a stair up there from the workshop down down below and have the office up here when it's done it's going to be good I'm just done with 22 kilometers on the roller skis and today I was uh, was fast new record yeah like I said 22 kilometers one hour and 11 minutes average speed 315 I'm happy with that upstairs is it empty for all this but now is it lying there and my sprinter is half full and it's still a lot left, so I just realized it's going to be many trips from here to the place to throw this away. But yeah, this is now the third time this car is completely full, and now it's cleaner. I'm really happy about that actually. I got this wood bench from my dad, and I have new feats for it over there. And this bench is actually really old and in really good quality, but it lo looks not so good. So now I'm going to bring it to a friend of mine who can go with the CNC and just make it straight and I guess it's gonna look like new this is my brother's car, this stopped the other day I think it's a problem with the injection when I need help to find out that I visit Christel <laughs> how are you doing buddy? <laughs> quite good yeah? you don't have racer where you come from? Or? no, we run out of uh, electric power <laughs> I can see <laughs> And this is on uh, Urbeck Karlsri, my great sponsor during many years. What's the computer saying, Christian? Don't know yet. But you could have come at the time when we tied it up the shop. Look, garbage everywhere. Now? Now it looks good now, eh? Yeah, right. Like it always does. Jan for up me. Pin the pies. Is that it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I am hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, that's Ossi's, Ossi's son, you can see that, eh? Felix. How are you doing, Felix? Fine. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I'm tired today. Yeah, but Ossi was faster, we just did intervals. Oh, look at my titties. 
<laughs> it's Monday morning and I'm arriving at work and it's I don't know, I'm working on it this day, fixing the roof, you know, and some water have arrived inside over all my computer stuff. I'm on the roof, here's the top of where the water was coming inside. The problem is this this old roof is that you can see when they put the plates they didn't put enough on the top of each other so it comes water in through this this uh, shirts and then down to the wood and then down to the insulation what I did now I marked everywhere where it was coming water inside you can see it on the wood and now when it stopped rain I have to go outside loosen all the bolts on this road Put glue between all the way down there, Zikoflex or something, then bolt it back together and hopefully then it should be dry. Or not dry, but then it should not leave more water. And this is uh, this is a pretty huge project because it's it's huge the roof. So now today I'm working outside here on the roof, trying to fix this water leakage I told you about. And what I did here now is I took off all the bolts on this road all the way down there till this top. And you can see clearly here, here eh? it's only one overlap, so for sure it's coming water in there, you know, when it's raining a lot, should be two of those, but it's only one. Now I take this glue gun and I do a lot of glue underneath here, like this. I'm not done with half the roof on this side, only this side and total other side left. Oh la la. It's a sunny day. And today I'm going to help my father, my father build this wall and he welded these frames or frame and now I'm going to help him glue in some windows here it's going to be good two of them is in so this is how I do it, first of all we clean it with Bartles window clean now we're done are inside. Just have to clean them a little bit. I am now at my great sponsor, Østfold Billemontering. Here we got my buddy Atle. Wow! <laughs> Don't run me so <laughs> They have uh, quite a few used car parts. Here. So before you go and buy some new car parts, you check out here this place, Østfold Billemontering. Maybe they have it used for a much cheaper price, you know? That's a good thing. Hey guys, I'm in Rockista at the Farm Ninja Challenge. A friend of us here have made all these obstacles, these hinders, in his farm. And I'm here with Tommy, and we have been practicing a little bit today because he's going to Moscow for World Championship in one hour a week, and I'm going to run the toughest in Holmenkolm in one hour a week. So Tommy has been teaching me a little bit, so I'm prepared. Saturday morning, I didn't make too much movie last week, but I thought I could make a little bit now. I took a new car inside. This car has been a few years. It's a Hyundai E20. I'm gonna build a new TCR car. No, that's a joke. This is a street car. I bought from the insurance company. We're gonna fix it. It had some damage here on the front, not much. But the engine here had a little bit damage on the front. I have to change a few parts. And luckily, I have a spare engine from a different car I bought a few years ago. Well, I threw away the body shell because it was too damaged to fix. So I just saved the parts. And I'm gonna use the parts on this one. Take a closer look, you can see here is a hole. This one is broken from the damage, the crash. Also this one, the dynamo, so those two I have to change. Also this for the water I have to change. And you can see the mount for the engine mounting is broken, so I have to change this whole aluminum piece. But luckily, everything is in one piece on this engine. So that's good. Uh, the damage on the chassis is almost nothing. You can see here, this one is bent a little bit back because the heat was quite high on the front. This one is a little bit more damaged, you can see. But this I'm going to change because I have this one. I saved from the other car. So I'm just going to cut the front piece off and weld it back on there. Then that's good. And I have the engine cover. I have the lights. The front bumper is inside there somewhere. The radiator, everything there I have. The only thing I actually need now is both side fenders, the airbags, the mirror. 
and that's it. But I found it on a scrapyard through my sponsor, S4 Billion Rotating. He called and organized it for me. So next week I'm gonna pick up all the parts I'm missing. I forgot one thing I need. I need also a new front window that I'm gonna get from Hurtigruta and Kenneth. That's gonna not, not gonna be a problem. But now let's get started and move all the good parts from this one to that one. All right then, so this engine I showed you this morning, it's done, it's there, it's ready to be put back into the car. And the chassis had a little bit damaged here. You can see it there. I have been fixing it, it's straight now. Jose, how was it? It was hard. It was very hard, yes. We didn't manage what we planned to do because it said 20 and we did, let's see what we did. So the time was one hour and 50 minutes, 19.99 kilometers. Back to work after the run. Now is the time to weld this piece on onto the car. After we are well done, we're going to paint it. We're also going to paint a little bit on that side. When that's done, I'm going to start taking out the airbags, seat belts, and all the interior will have to be changed. It's Monday morning, yesterday evening, so in the evening I took out the dashboard, so that's out. And this morning I took out all the seat belts. So now I'm going to a Hegri, one hour away from here. We have a car like this with a little bit of damage in the front. I'm, and I'm going to take out the dashboard, the airbags, and everything I need from that car. Yes, slow. I mean, uh, speed bag at this place where they have a lot of crashed cars. This is just only one of many places to have. Here is the E20. I'm going to take out the airbags and everything here now, you know? Yeah. I'm now at the Horme Goldman in Oslo. I'm here with my sponsor, Block Leather. We have just been running the toughest again this year. It's the third year in a row. And it's like always a lot of people here. This time I also have my buddy Mats with me. He's there. Yeah, we will speak to him soon. Like I said, I'm done. And this year I used one hour and one minute. But the course was much harder than last year because last year I was thinking it was 51 minutes. This year I'm in better shape. I feel I was faster. I did few of the obstacles in the fast line where I save a lot of time on. So it was good, but like I said, the course was much harder this year, right? Eh? Much harder. But so was it. It was very hard. Yeah, but fun, eh? It was good. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. And huge thanks to Block Leather for the tickets. Thank you. You're welcome. I just checked the results from the toughest race today because you cannot check it just when you're done, you know, because more people is running every five minutes, more people is starting. So now everybody's done, then you can see the result finally, and I'm really happy. I was P40, and it's around 5,000 guys who was running, eh? And everybody's around me, it's elite and qualifier guys. And they are pro, they, they, this is what they do, you know? And I beat many of them. So P40, I think it's decent to be a racing driver. Eh? So then when I'm inside the work here, I can show you the projects. This BMW should have been done. Been going quite far south, this project. I have a small problem I have to organize, but I'm gonna organize it and then hopefully it's good. Then I can get number plates and everything and make it ready for sale. We are actually gonna transform this car into a BMW M3 on the looking, eh? I have some nice wheels over there, some bumpers. I think I'm actually going to show you now. Uh, yeah, but I have to fix it running first. That's the main thing. Over there is the wheels. It's coming from my sponsor, Dekshe Kwashim. Look at those, eh? This is going to be like this on that car. We have a rear bumper, like the M3. And we have the front bumper, like an M3. And uh, over here, we have the exhaust, like, look like an M3. Then we have this little beautiful project, as I showed you earlier on. This car is running good now. I'm just gonna prepare for paint. Sand down the engine cover, this door, I have to fix the left door because this is a little bit damaged, but I have a new fender there. I'm gonna straight the door again. So this I picked up yesterday actually, so I didn't have time to continue with that. But I'm gonna do it soon. And then here is my go-kart. This I also have to manage to make ready so I can go drive a little bit soon. Hey, for you guys who don't know the, what toughest is the race. Uh, last year I made a movie, I was running with the camera, I was running two laps last year, and the second one I ran with the camera, and I cut down so you just see all the obstacles we had to do. Me and Tommy was running there. And I put a link to this video below, so if you want to see a lap, how it was last year, just push the video below and I'll show you a complete lap there. The Hyundai is ready. I've actually been spinning around with it for two weeks already. So it's good in a way, with new wheels and everything. Now we're just going to take the air control and uh, the wheel control and uh, get the number plate. Then I'm going to sell it. So again, I have been out with Ossie for a run. And we're going to end this video now. It's going to be... It's end.
he's no more moving now. He was very good today. Mm. Yeah, I, I could keep it up with him. <laughs> no, today you cannot keep up. <laughs> but seriously, Ossi is in super shape. I have no chance on Ossi if you do five kilometer run. Hard one. Nope. <laughs> Too much alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but today we was running 300 meters in total with a break, 15 of those. Mm. And I beat you on everyone today. Yes, you did. That's a good. That's a good end of the movie. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao.